Just the very latest on this breaking news we told you about last night. Protests turning into chaos, then arrests over a man hurt in a moped crash where a Providence police officer may have played a role. Police just going before the public within the past hour to discuss the crash case and everything that came after it. Reporter Brandon Truitt was on the streets with 12 News late last night. He continues tracking the latest developments right now. Listen, Providence Police just released two videos they say they are using in this investigation. And before we show them to you, I want to make something clear. Commissioner Stephen Perry here saying that they have no clear video of a moment of impact at this point. Of the dozens of clips they have, nothing showing them an exact clear moment of impact. They are asking for the public's help for anyone who might have video of that moment to turn it over to them. Let's show you the video just into the newsroom about 15 minutes ago. Here's a look at these two videos that were just released. Now, the the one you're seeing shows Jamal Gonzalez riding down Elmwood Avenue. This is just before he reaches Bissell Street. This is before the crash, obviously. You can see him being followed by police there. And then the next frame, the next clip shows a second camera viewpoint. This is a look down the intersection of Elmwood Avenue and Bissell Street. Uh, this is where the crash happened. And you see several motorcycles and ATVs uh, riding through the frame here. And then some of that crash, what you can see is a police cruiser hit a stop sign there, but what is not clear is a moment of impact. Police say they are looking into all options, including if Gonzalez might have hit the home uh, at that intersection or if the officer might have hit an object that hit the moped. All of it is on the table. Of course, we know last night there was really chaos through much of the late evening. Uh, this started as a rally at Knight Memorial Library uh, where a protest was planned amongst several organizations. From there, about an hour later, they hit the streets and they started marching down Elmwood Avenue, blocking traffic the entire time. That 45 minute march, making their way all the way to Providence Police Headquarters. From here, uh, we were seeing protesters talking or yelling at police for a time. And then at some point at around 10 o'clock, things turned violent. We know one officer uh, was taken to the hospital. Police telling us today a total of five were injured in some capacity after that group started shooting off fireworks into the crowd. We now know 20 21 people have been arrested as a result of what happened last night. And today, Mayor Alorza is saying he hears these calls that people believe there was intent behind what happened, although police say it's not clear if that cruiser made contact with the moped. Today, the mayor is asking people for patience. I know that emotions are running high. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of anger and distrust. And what I urge all of our residents here in the city of Providence, is to please withhold judgment on exactly what happened. And let's focus on a thorough, complete, transparent investigation. That's what we are absolutely committed to. Of course, all of this happening as a family just wants their loved one recovered. Jamal said to still be in a coma at the hospital. Police are really issuing a cry to the public. If you have video of that moment of contact, that crucial moment at the heart of this investigation that is so far not on frame, they say, they're asking you to turn that video over to police. Live in Providence, Brandon Truett, 12 News.